I'd like to take this moment to talk about the many different materials that are worked into loft sails. There are many materials worked into loft sails, many different weights and types. So where to begin? Well, we have uh, many options. These are colors and qualities and weights all uh, available. There's uh, woven materials and there are laminated materials. There's basically two, those two groups. All of these materials, both woven and laminates, they're all made from polyester. There are a few that have other fibers in, which I'll get into. I'll begin with the racing blade. We've got this um, four axis, two mil laminate which is um, making the mass pocket sides. And this particular laminate is interesting because it's extremely lightweight. For that, we work it into many different sails. It's in the upper body of the wave sails and the free ride sails. It's also worked into the mass pockets on the racing sails. And the reason we put this particular material on the mass pocket sides, one is it's lightweight, but another feature of this material is that unlike any other laminate, this particular laminate will not remember folding. So uh, one of the um, characteristics of wide mass pocket sails is that when you roll them up, the mass pocket on the outside of the roll will be under tension and the mass pocket on the inside of the roll will be in compression. In other words, it, it will be making small folds as you roll up. And those small folds are really a problem for any other material, but this particular two mil, which is very light, uh, doesn't remember the folds. And for that reason, we use it in the mass pocket sides. Um, the two mil, has actually four axes of thread in, inside the material. There's the two diagonal axes and there's horizontal and vertical. It's the only material that has four axes. Then the mass pocket material, this is IYU 250. It um, is a woven material that is especially resistant against abrasion. And so we work this material into the mass pockets on all sails. Then we have the biply. This looks like monofilm, but it is colored. So actually this material is two layers of monofilm that are laminated together and the glue has the color. And this is very interesting because not only because it has color, but also because of the process of making it with the glue, this biply material is especially resistant to UV degradation compared to monofilm. So there's a lot of sales on the market that have a lot of monofilm, but at loft sales, actually there's only a couple models that have monofilm windows. We're, we're not, as a rule, I avoid monofilm. Monofilm, in my view, is a bit planned obsolescence. It degrades with the UV and cracks and the rest of the sail will be fine. But um, for this reason, um, we avoid working monofilm into our designs. So that's the biply. Same UV resistance like X-plies, but no threads. Then now we'll talk a little bit about the marking cloth as the guys in the factory call it. Insignia cloth is what the yacht sail makers call it. And the insignia cloth is used extensively all over the sail. It's a really important material because it allows the uh, sail to have resistance against the perforations from sewing. When you sew a sail together, you're actually putting a bunch of holes in the sail. And that's obviously bad if you're using, say, monofilm. You put holes in monofilm, it can tear so easily. So the, this uh, Scrim Insignia cloth, it's fine uh, polyester threads with uh, glue everywhere. It's applied wherever there's stitching. 
So anywhere you go from uh, woven material to laminate, you need the transition has to have this insignia material with the glue, fine thread, threaded uh, polyester. So we, we find that in so many places. This is here for the roll up. The backside of the batten pockets all have the insignia material, the marking. It's, it's everywhere in the sale and it's a sign of quality. The, the more of that you have in the sale, the better quality is the sale. Um, let's talk about the three and a half mil biaxial laminate that we use on the rear edge. This 3.5 mil biaxial laminate is used in a lot of places around the sale. Race sales and wave sales. Uh, it's not super lightweight like the two mil. Uh, it's not so heavy like a five mil. It has the, the double um, axis threads for resistance. So in specific places, we use this material. The window material is a four mil, same weight as the biply. It's a four mil biaxial laminate. The um, threads are spaced quite far apart, which gives it more um, visibility. And I firmly believe that windows with X-ply, although they're much more expensive, they're worth the investment because the life of the sale can go four, five, six seasons with this material in the windows. And if you have a monofilm window, if you're on the water often, it can be not even two seasons. So um, the quality is worked in. In the patches, the smallest patches, we have eight ounce patch cloth, a special heavy polyester threaded woven material to give, you could call it beef to the corners. From there, we go to a transition to a Dacron material, a normal weight Dacron, also woven polyester, and then to the marking cloth, and then finally to the laminate. So the transitions from the body to the corners has three, four, five materials involved with the, the transition. So what more to tell you? Inside the mass pocket on the race sails, there's two panels. There's a forward panel and a rear. The rear panel you can see is the black. Both panels are five mil biaxial. The rear panel black for aesthetic reasons, the forward one clear. Um, those five mil material, uh, panels resist the downhaul tension. So it gives the, the sail integrity. And then uh, worked into the front edge of the mass pocket is a Kevlar material, a special unidirectional Kevlar. This unidirectional Kevlar thread material, we cut strips two and a half centimeters wide and use it to do the finishing between the two halves of the mass pocket. So the Kevlar provides a resistance along the leading edge, which is interesting because uh, it limits the stretch. Um, if it stretches out, if it's not there, the whole sail will get slightly flatter. So putting in this Kevlar resistance on the leading edge, it uh, resists the downhaul tension and that assists in making a, a, the profile slight, slightly deeper. Remove the Kevlar and the sail gets flatter. So it's, it's um, a feature of the race sails. So in a short moment, that's a brief of the materials that we use. There's biaxials, triaxials, quad axials. There's two mils, three mils, three and a half mil, four mil, five mil a huge range of colors and qualities. And I have to say too that all of our materials are coming from, almost all the materials come from Dimension Polyand, which is the leading brand making laminates used in windsurf sail making. No second qualities, all top shelf materials from the highest quality producer of materials for windsurfing sails.